and picked up uh, a red cat buggy. Actually, I don't even remember what he told me it was. But uh, he said uh, he got it from uh, redcatracing.ca. Redcat Racing Canada. Redcat Racing Canada. It'll probably be the same thing. Uh, said he got it pretty quick, within a week, I believe. Yep. And uh, we're going to open it up and uh, see what's in the box and uh, go for a test run afterwards. So. Cheers. So the Blackout SC Pro. Brushless ready to run short course trunk. Four-wheel drive. So, here it goes. Instructions. This is probably a charger. Obviously a slow charger. Nobody wants to use these, right? Nice radio. Feels solid. Oddly enough, looks like a Tamiya. Nice looking body. Alright, so let's get the top off of this. Looking at this, let's see what the battery looks like. So, it's a 3200 hard case LiPo. Looks of pretty good quality. Feels nice. The ESC and motor look like they are from uh, Hobbywing, which doesn't really surprise me. So I took the, cert the uh, cover off the radio gear and the ESC, and I'm having a bit of trouble putting it back in. But taking it out, you can literally see that is exactly like the hobby wing model. So, typical red cat receiver, uh, which is three channels, which I don't think you have three channels on the radio. So, I'm going to attempt to put this back together.
this is a real pain in the ass. Much easier to remove than it is to put back. Can't say I'm impressed with this part. Alright, so we're going to try and charge the battery from our uh, Traxxas Easy Peak. Uh, realize we don't have the connectors for the uh, the big banana jacks that they have here, and the charger that comes with it only charges via the uh, balancing port. So we got to either go out and get an adapter or. Uh, I might have something that I can work with here. Front and rear tables are the same. Some weird uh, openings here underneath. I'm not sure exactly what they're for. Looks like you can pop this piece off. Maybe to allow the motor to cool some more or something. Wouldn't be too difficult to turn this into a four wheel steering buggy. Because it's got, basically, it's got steering knuckles in the back as well. So if we prop the servo back here somewhere, we could have it easily connected here and have a four wheel steering buggy. It's got a lot of play for movement if you will in the suspension if there's some of that is play some of that is actually flex but I guess for a basher you can't really say much and you know well there's this much flex in the suspension there's a lot less breakage probably we'll see we'll take it around the track a couple of times and see what happens Check up. Steering. Oh. Servo speed's a bit of a question, eh? Go full full right. Full right. Full left. One shot. I go from one end to the other fast. Yeah, so servo speed isn't great. It's stock. It's got your right. stops though, it's kind of yeah, cute little mud flaps. They flap around too. Right up.
No, it just popped off. All right, so we ran into an issue with the servo saver. It's very, very loose. The car is very uncontrollable. So I'm hoping either Red Cat has a better system for this or we have to upgrade it with something else. So that pretty much ends our run for this. So we've come back in from playing and we're going to check the servo saver. And we couldn't use it anymore and this piece just basically opened up and screwed us over. So that's basically the servo saver, mm. along with these pieces here. Uh, I squished it back together mm -hmm. and put it back on. Needless to say, I don't think this is a very good servo saver. So an upgrade would be a smart thing. Yeah, that's a lot better than it was before. That's just a play in the steering. I'll power it up. So it's working now, but I'm guessing another hit to the wheels would uh, create the same issue all over again. So it definitely needs a better servo saver. So that's pretty much it for this blackout. It performed well though. It was a lot of fun. Tires didn't bite too well on the type of dirt we were on. But uh, all in all, uh, I actually like it. Uh, it's got a lot of power. Uh, it seems to deliver it well. Uh, the steering system, obviously the servo saver needs to be changed. Uh, and then maybe we could do some more testing. Uh, we had one issue where one of the, uh, the links came off. This piece here came off. We just popped it back on. It didn't happen again. So that remains to be seen if it's going to happen again or not. Uh, if they just pop off like that, if they just pop off like that, uh, and, it, and we can put them back on, it's not a big issue, but a bit of a pain at the same time. Uh, I guess for the money, you can't really complain. Uh, you know, people say you get what you pay for, uh, except for that servo saver. That's really not good. So. I like it. Needs a bit of improvement, but that's all I'll say. See ya.